Good morning, Grecians. It is yet another new day that God has given to us. I'm not sure how you felt when you woke up this morning, but this week there were several days that I felt very lethargic when I woke up, with no motivation to work, no energy to serve, and no love to give. If you feel like that this morning, chances are you are not alone. And I also want you to know that you made an excellent choice tuning in to grace every morning nonetheless. God's word is life-giving and I trust the Holy Spirit to invigorate you right now as you listen to his powerful word. Today we are in the second chapter of the book of Exodus and I have entitled today's sharing God's watchfulness. In this chapter, we witness how God watched over Moses by protecting him as a baby and when he murdered an Egyptian as an adult in order to use him to deliver the Israelites from slavery. The key verses for today are verses 23b to verses 25. Let's read together. The Israelites groaned in their slavery and cried out, and their cry for help because of their slavery went up to God. God heard their groaning and he remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. So God looked on the Israelites and was concerned about them. So you see, while God looked after the smallest details of Moses' life, he was also mindful of the big picture, the deliverance of his people. In his providence, God heard, remembered, looked, and was concerned. And we see that throughout this chapter. At that time in Egypt, Pharaoh had ordered all baby boys to be killed. But baby Moses was not even discovered. When his mother placed him in the basket, floating along the river, the water was calm enough not to capsize the basket. Then of all people, Pharaoh's daughter is the one who spotted Moses in a huge river, like the river now. This is nothing short of a miracle. God watches over the smallest details of his people. He also took care of the big picture the nation as a whole. He sees, he knows, and he is interested in all that you're going through. If you will trust him, you need not worry about tomorrow, about your career prospects, about whether you will have a partner or not, or about your finances. Your Heavenly Father knows your needs, big or small. I am extremely watchful over my three and a half year old girl, Dazelle. Whenever we go out, my eager eyes are watching her. At the playground, I can almost predict when she's going to trip over something and I'm ready to catch her when she does. Before she injures herself, I'm already there to warn her. If anyone dares to harm her, they will face my wrath. At the dinner table, she only needs to look at me and I know what she wants or needs. Maybe it's a piece of tissue paper, some water to drink, or just a loving smile. That is how our Heavenly Father watches over us. So let us trust the God who watches over us closely, caringly, providentially, in the smallest details and in the grand scheme of things. Today's passage shows us evidence of God's providence. And this will give us confidence to face all situations in our lives. Right now, as we close this sharing, I'd like us to use Psalm 139 as a prayer. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there, your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. So Lord, as I go through the day, help me to trust you in the smallest details and in the big grand things of my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Grace every morning today. If you have been blessed, why don't you share this video with others who also need to be assured of God's watchfulness over their lives. You can also go through the dis discussion questions with your family members so they can learn as well. Have a blessed day ahead.